China's biggest fear isn't running short of food and land. The biggest fear they have is its deserts. China has been dealing with it for over 50 years, and the scary part is, it's still growing. Although China is as big as the United States in surface area, only 12% of the land is suitable for farming. Still, China is self-sufficient in terms of food supply. That's pretty impressive. Deserts have covered one-fourth of China's land. According to a survey in 2010, the desert has acquired 57% of the land. It's approximately 7,339,000 acres. Deserts are causing deforestation, which destroys fertile lands, causing sandstorms that bury villages, forcing people to leave their homes. How are they dealing with it, and how much time did it take? You're watching iTech, and in this video, we'll be discussing how China is turning their deserts into green forests. Let's first talk about some history of the desert itself. This desert is known as the Gobi Desert, which extends to Mongolia. It's the driest desert on planet Earth. This desert is a result of deforestation, caused by using unsuitable agriculture methods. To fix this desert again, China is building a Great Wall, but this time, it's made from trees. China is planning to plant 100 billion trees to build a Great Wall of Trees. This wall will be 1,000 miles long in Inner Mongolia to stop the further spread of desert. On March 12, 1925, Arbor Day was established. On this day, everyone plants a tree in the new year to replace it with the trees used in the previous year. Many people volunteer in planting. They plant wherever they like. It has improved the climate, bringing more moisture and rain to dry areas. Sandstorms are reduced and agriculture is boosted to produce more food for their huge population. For your information, a single tree can produce almost 117 kilograms of oxygen and it can absorb 21 kilograms of carbon dioxide in a year, which is twice an average car's mileage. Although the plan isn't finished yet, there's a high probability of completion in 2050. In the north, forests are spreading from 5% to 13.5%. Think about it. A single tree can provide oxygen to 18 people. What will 100 billion do for the whole of China? Now the question arises, how did they do it? From 1978, the government started an initiative to plant trees. Villages were paid to plant plants or seeds. In some places, the government occupies private land for planting trees. Because of this initiative, poverty was reduced and forests started to spread. It even made some people rich. In 2007, Africa tried to do the same, like the Great Wall of Trees to stop the Sahara Desert. Eleven nations supported it to build an 8,000-kilometer-long Great Wall of Africa. This was harder than China's Great Wall. But still, after 10 years, over 20 million hectares of land were saved from the desert. The Great Wall of Africa was so long in length that it crossed Africa. This project revived the environment and gave thousands of people job opportunities. China's Great Wall of Trees reduced sandstorms countrywide by 20% between 2009 and 2014. But like the saying goes, you can't impress everyone. Every big project can't have a 100% success rate. Due to less groundwater, some planted trees died, which resulted in soil degradation and tree epidemics. This thing triggered some scientists and few people. The main reason that people pointed out is the use of monoculture. Only a certain group of plants are used. Using this method can make forests weak to different diseases. Some sources even claimed that China is forcibly taking lands to plant trees. If it's true, at what cost is China winning? There's an old Chinese myth. Instead of building a boat because of a flood, our ancestors chose to control it rather than running away from it. And they again proved it that running away from a problem or replacing it with technology isn't the right solution. China is constantly researching innovative solutions that can help reduce global warming and spare greenery around its land. Qi Zhen Yi and Xiao Hua Zhao from the Department of Mechanics at Chaoqing Jiao Tong University observed this problem from a unique standpoint. Instead of fixing dry soil, they developed a paste that can make sand fertile to grow crops. It may look impossible, but this is a revolutionary solution that was astounding. Plants were raised animals arrived, and a whole new environment took place. This method makes economic sense too. This cost is lower than controlled environment planting. This experiment has the power to change our whole ecosystem. It wasn't a perfect strategy, but we can't ignore that China planted more trees than the whole world. 
The Great Wall of Trees is the world's biggest forest planted by humans on Earth. That's all for this video. What are your thoughts about this? Should other countries try it too? Comment below with your thoughts. We'll love to know. Like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching.